There we go. Okay, I'll speak uh, quickly but slowly. And, uh, and, and this, I try to summarize like seven years of research, it's very technical. Uh, and so I'm gonna count on the fact that you can read faster than I can speak. So there's gonna be very busy slides. And if you see something that's interesting to you, then we can talk later. Um, but the topic really uh, that I wanna address is, is, I'll preface it just a little bit. We did a lot of work in the area of privacy and security in a whole area of user-centric identity. And the idea was that people should have control over the information about themselves. And there's something called Identity Commons that came out of that. And I'm, something, I'm on the board of something called the Open Identity Exchange. So it's, it, it's bringing commons ideas into how you regulate the use of personal information and change the architecture basically of the internet to create an identity layer, an authentication layer in which people have control about information themselves. This is sort of a very radical posture. It's something that started about six or seven years ago, but believe it or not, this is getting some real traction, and there are actually different governments is building this into what they call different trust frameworks, and the user-centric model is something that, I'm speaking too fast, I bet, um, is something that lots of people are picking up on. And so I, what we were interested in doing is going to the next level, and how do you create a governance platform? And a lot of the issues that are being discussed here, and basically, how do you create trusted networks? How do you create reputation systems? How do you create ways of governing and collaborating and creating accountability and transparency? If we could build a platform that was open source, uh, that would enable people to do this in, this in our traditional way of doing things and reinvent certain fundamental institutions. The idea of creating what we call digital institutions and new concepts of law. That, that recognizing that law, are, are, you can have contract law, you can have, law, have norms, you can have common law, but the idea is invent governance mechanisms. Um, so we're, this is a very multidisciplinary effort. It cuts across works in, in law, economics, uh, evolutionary biology, a lot of computer science, uh, behavioral economics. Uh, so we're trying to involve lots of different people. And the idea is to have a member network. And a member network is basically an application on a platform that's based on certain, certain principles. And you have different kind of member networks that you do experiments in. And so we're attacking a lot of the classic governance problems. And these are problems that are now presenting themselves in, in cloud computing. I mean, I'm, a lot of people are familiar with what's happening in cloud computing, but under what jurisdiction? How do you trust the cloud? How do you, who, how do you adjudicate differences? How, how do people authenticate their identities? How do they have remedies? You're really having to reinvent governance mechanism in the cloud. This is a global problem, and it cre to us it creates an enormous opportunity. And you link that with what's going on in mobile communications, and the fact that there are five million billion mobile phones and on top of that, you can have banking systems, you can have education systems, and health systems. You have a new way of reinventing institutions we've never had before. So in our belief, is a great opportunity. So there's certain key issues that we look at. Uh, one of the things that I'll do, and I'll just touch on all of them because I can't get through all of them, um, but the whole idea of honest signals. Uh, there's a whole class of study in biology is sort of what is an honest signal. And, and by that I mean, to what extent am I willing to believe in it and assume certain kind of risk? And how do I create credible signals and accountability for credible signals? In classic market systems, you talk price signals are honest or, or rating system, but they're not, they're gamed. So how do you build systems that make it very difficult and costly to game the signal? Also, how do you keep real transparency and accountability and how do you create audit systems? And the classic problem is who guards the guards? How, how do you prevent certain kinds of collusion and, and corruption? Again, when things were digital, there may be new solutions to this that you couldn't do in the physical world. And then how do you think have things that are evolvable? Uh, we do work in genetic algorithms, and we have contracts that are evolvable. You should have it and transparent in the fact that you do not have to read the whole contract. In fact, you compute the contract, and you see the outcome for the different interests. So rather than having to go through, oh my god, one minute left, I'm dead. Uh, all right, oh, whoops. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Uh, ah, okay, here's the cloud, an open governance platform in the cloud. And you can see that all these, it's sort of an issue for, for us of mechanism design. So we have different APIs into these different kind of mechanisms, and people can match them up 
and create different kinds of trust frameworks. And I won't, so if you go through some of these, you're gonna see that there's far too many mechanisms. But we actually have different people building different components of the software. This is primarily done in MIT and through Harvard, but it's also an open source effort. And I won't get into that, but I'd gladly discuss it with people. And then you have, in a sense, simple use case for network mechanisms. What might you do? You have to enroll people, and there's a way of authenticating the people that you enroll. You have to have incentives to participate. How do you share and contribute? There's a whole credit assignment system. There's what is fair. There's some really interesting algorithms on how to compute fairness. Does it work? I don't know. But it's a, it's a part of an experiment. You have reputation scores. We're very interested in reputational systems and how you not gain them and how you can invent a variety of reputational systems appropriate to different contexts. It doesn't resolve a single universal reputation system. And then the whole idea of discovering new kind of roles and valuing roles and enforcement, different mechanisms of enforcement. Um, and I'm, well, let's see, okay, okay. And then just talk about, we're doing a lot in the mobile communications and ecosystems for emergent urban infrastructure. So we're actually having an overlay, some work in Boston, something called Innovation Zone, a thousand acres, and how do you have emergent infrastructures that are facilitated by a new digital infrastructure, done.